Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Simon Reacts. Woo woo woo! Today I'm joined by Mini Minter and Vicstar. Hey, oh. And guess what? Ethan's here, so we're reacting to food. <laughs> oh, ten most my. ten most expensive foods in the world. <laughs> I'm hungry, Jeez. so are you not actually maybe these aren't tasty though. You never know. They're expensive. Yeah, what are you gonna order after this? this? Ooh, I might, you might, are gonna order you know, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have cereal, so <laughs> Oh <laughs> ten most expensive right. foods. Oh I really want cereal. I wonder what the most expensive cereal is. I had gold steak in Dubai. I did do that. Oh, that's okay. Good okay. Big it's good steak. He's good steak. He sprinkled his thing on it. That sounds mad. <laughs> that sounds all sorts <laughs> of mad. That was fucked. That was Shout very out mad. Top trending. Oh, this house is kind of nice. Can I eat the house? an array of incredible experiences. Most of us will never come <laughs> within okay. shouting distance <laughs> of. Which is why we tend to regard them with a strange Bro, kind Mr. of Beast jealous fascination. House out of cake. We'd all like to know. Hey, Mr. B. Hey, Jimmy. Fab, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> I Jimmy, bro. I did. Dial it up. Dial Jimmy, bro, up make it. Oh, because only he could do it. We can't do it, bro. We're not, Jimmy, we're make not a house out of cake. Jimmy, make a house out of cake, bro. Yeah, or chocolate. Hey, what like, it's like to spend money. Yeah. Everyone Water. watching this. Fly on tricked out Tag private him. jets. <laughs> Wake up in a multi million dollar home and hang out with celebrities and supermodels. Ooh, but if you're geez. a foodie, yeah. we're about to give you several more reasons to be jealous. Lobster, Ten of them to be exact. Ooh. Assembled from all around the globe, these culinary delights are off limits to all except those with ridiculous amounts of money to spend. They're yeah. the 10 most expensive food like items the in the men, entire right? world. <laughs> and unless you're willing to spend yourself, they'll empty your wallet just as quickly as they'll fill your stomach. Simon, you like sushi now? Right? I do. Why? Like, like, that's like veggie sushi. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll, like, we'll take like, it. Yeah, not step in the right direction. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Pizza for 4,000. 4, 420. 420. <laughs> we start things off with one Just incredible pizza. Over one you'll never find on the menu at Domino's. In 2006, right. world renowned what? chef Dominico Crolla of Glasgow, Scotland created a pie oh, for a St. Valentine's Day meal, which he dubbed the Pizza Royale 007. It's unclear Ooh. why he chose the James Bond reference. Perhaps he needed the super spy to hunt down that's all of his ultimate that's pizza that's ingredients. Not, yeah. Among that's the pie's shit. more extravagant toppings Can't were caviar right. soaked in fine champagne, choice cuts of smoked <laughs> salmon and lobster marinated in the finest Ooh. cognac available. Then, for good measure, he topped off the assembled pizza with well, a healthy amount of 24 it? karat oh gold shavings. Nah. Fortunately, oh, all of this decadence was for a good cause. The pie was created right. to raise funds for the Fred Hollows Foundation, oh, okay. a nonprofit okay. with the goal of okay. eradicating oh, okay. preventable okay. blindness in developing countries. Oh, okay. An so, on eBay, the pizza brought cool. home a winning bid of $4,200. Yeah. The it's not obnoxious expensive food pizza from a slightly less extravagant yes, yeah, white exactly. truffle pie created by London's Mays Restaurant, so which is pie. by none other than famed <laughs> chef Gordon Ramsay. It's not a pie. <laughs> it's oh, Fourteen grand. Fourteen half thousand. They keep putting on a normal bowl of pasta. Was once considered the world's most expensive dessert, and it Ooh. can only be found in one place at the Fortress Resort and Spa in Sri Lanka. At its base, it's simply a pasta, a traditional nah. Italian sponge cake. But this cake yeah, but has been tricked out nah. with enough expensive That's fillings and decorations nope. to make it worth something <laughs> less than your average No, but you did. The yeah. cake itself is made of the fruit of the Irish Spring and filled with Cuba. That's it. You went Cuba. Yeah, it's not the same thing at all. But you know, dessert will be hard chocolate sculptures of the still. Fisherman, which can be seen throughout the area, along with delicate edible leaves of gold. And to top it all off, the dish is decorated Ooh. with an 80 karat aquamarine stone. Huh? This incredibly flavored- It's just there on the side. Just chill it. One of a kind. But if you want to- Can, that, can I eat that? <laughs> the amazing no, can, can I eat that? Back to the washing, bro. You don't need to wash it use it again. It's fine. But the stilt <laughs> fisherman <laughs> indulgence will tack a hefty $14,500. I think the stone's worth more than that. It's well assembled, that. Did look cool. Oh, let's go! Okay. Give me five. Oh, yeah, a slice. Give the me a slice. Gate Inn in Lancashire, UK, is home to Love the world's that. priciest beef and mushroom pie. No, that is not where it's I was expecting to be. Enjoyed by Brits of no, all that wasn't it. But Surely this that version, it. as you might have suspected, that's like double the, the GDP there. Than tradition demands. Yeah. <laughs> to start with, the <laughs> pie is stuffed with about one thousand dollars worth of wagyu beef, which is only obtained from one of four breeds of cattle. Wagyu cows and pong. The chef then adds exquisite matsutake mushrooms, which go for about a thousand dollars per pound. Black truffles and the requisite. Was a gold leaf oh. then added before you know marinating what? the entire mixture I, I in two bottles of 1982 Chateau Moton Rothschild red wine, which oh. itself rings up at about $4,200 oh. per bottle. It's then baked inside an expertly horny, prepared bro. crust. The pie is served with champagne and can feed eight people, which is a good thing like because champagne. this is one bill you're going to want to spread. Bro, champagne is I drink it all the time. I drink it all the time. I don't like it. Or just bro, under $2,000 per slice. Champagne is expensive <laughs> piss, bro. It stinks. It tastes it's, like poo. It's not nice. Bro, it's, you should just get a sip to celebrate yes, something. And yeah, that's yeah, it. you should. Yes, exactly. Mm. It's a sipping thing. Like, you cheers it, you sip. I don't want a flute of it. <laughs> fuck no. your flute. Yeah, Can fuck I just your point flute. out that I, I wouldn't eat this? It's got mushrooms and it's all like champagne. Bro, yeah, but it's all. Like, if it's, I mean, listen, it's cooked into lovely food, bro. Well, I, I wouldn't have eaten anything so far except the dessert. 
And I'd only eat that because I want to keep the diamond. You're on crap, bro, because I'd eat everything just because <laughs> yeah. of how spending yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, I just <laughs> eat like, it cold. The first, I'm gonna, uh, the I'm, first thing was a pizza with smoked salmon pizza. and cream cheese. Yeah, you think, and a lobster. And, and caviar. You think I'm eating that? Smoked salmon, yeah. caviar. Okay. You just gotta send it you sometimes. Wouldn't, you wouldn't eat the alien pizza, I get it. <laughs> but. <laughs> It just be purely how spenny it is. Yeah, I'm not eating this shroom pie. The thing is, the thing is, you know, I don't think you'd even. I like, wish look it was at... a fucking shroom pie. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be dope. Thing That'd is, be like, fucking sick. Look at the look at it. The the mushroom, you wouldn't even taste it because it's in that that yeah. nice sauce. It would just taste it's like in that nice. It would just taste like substance. Sauce. That yeah. that is substance. For two thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. Mate. it's got it's More two thousand dollars. It's it's got a fucking washing up tablet in the middle. No, mate, I think that's to like aerate, to let the heat like flow through to like cook it even better, man. It's the best beef and mushroom pie part. you'll ever taste in your life. Yeah. See, that's what I'm a best taste. <laughs> right, I'd eat this. What the fuck? <laughs> you what do you got bro? of a delicacy in Japan since no, they're difficult wait. to grow there, which can make them pretty pricey. The Dansuke, right. a rare black watermelon Ooh. grown only on the northern Japanese island of Hokkaido, is the watermelon. world's most expensive watermelon. But it, it was put to like? shame in 2008 by a pair of cantaloupes which Ooh. sold for over three times that amount at auction. What? The melons grown in the Yubari region of Hokkaido were judged along with over a hundred others as part of a competition before the auction and took home the top prize. They were purchased right. by a local restaurant owner and businessman what? for the princely sum of $23,000. For a time, Why? they were the most expensive melons ever sold. But in 2018, the president of a Japanese fruit and vegetable packaging company commemorated his Bro. firm's 30th anniversary by purchasing two prize Yubaris for the equivalent of $29,250. How, how do they, like, the melons were kept on display these. for a couple of months. Bro, do you know what the funniest thing is, right? Humans just came along and fucked everything up, bro. Because you see how, like, years ago, someone's probably got these Yubari melons and they're just growing them and eating them on a daily basis, bro, in their farm. Now someone decided to judge it. Why are humans got to judge everything, bro? And now that it's judged, <laughs> now it's judged, now it's judged. Indeed. This one's thirty bags. And how well, do you think the other fucking what? melons feel, man? Exactly. They feel like how pure do you shit. think the two grand melon feels now? <laughs> feels like pure you shit. It. Bro, fill up your shit. What just do you wish do I was with 30, a thirty bags. grand melon. Like, look at it. <laughs> what do you do? And then it and then it decays. <laughs> like, yeah. But then if you eat it, it's also gone. It's a lose-lose. That's a bad investment. Guys, don't invest in melons, not stonks. <laughs> not stonks. Before being pieces which were given away for free to customers, just so a few what? lucky common people could experience the reportedly otherworldly taste of the king of melons. It's a melon fan. I want, I want to interview these people and be like, really? Wait, what? Wait, Wait, 25 grand for chocolate. This is a, this could be a bit me. The Serendipity 3 restaurant is a New yeah. York landmark, having been featured in several Hollywood feature films, including Talk one even me. titled Serendipity, and famous for their frozen hot chocolate, which oh. sounds a little counterintuitive, but is apparently so good that Jackie Kennedy once tried to steal the recipe. Serendipity <laughs> 3 produced a sundae called the Golden Opulence, which was listed in the video. Guinness Book of World Records as the world's most expensive dessert oh. in 2004, but it only cost a mere thousand dollars. The restaurant's owners soon decided only. it was time to outdo okay, themselves. Too. And did they ever? <gasps> the frozen Haute chocolate, oh! a decidedly higher end version of their famous dessert, is made from a combination of 28 oh. expensive chocolates from Africa and South America. It's topped with 23 karat gold shavings and a truffle oh. imported from France. And the drink is served in a gold lined crystal God goblet adorned blind. with an 18 karat white gold <laughs> bracelet. Even the spoon it's served with is made of solid oh. gold. And yes, you get to keep all the adornments, which is a good thing because the oh. frozon Haute chocolate will set you, you get back to keep, a whopping you get to keep the spoon. $25,000. That's cool. Oh, don't I'm go New York. I'm just saying next time, <laughs> side men go LA. Yeah, can we go to New York or something, bro? Yeah, well, LA's Grand boring. Los Cabos New York. is a five star resort in you know Cabo I mean? San Lucas, Mexico. Yeah. An area where you could probably pick up a fantastic oh, taco. Oh, most most expensive food. But if you're looking for a truly it. singular taco experience I and have money to burn, it. you'll want to stop by Gran Velas Frida restaurant to check out the culinary masterpiece created by executive chef Juan Ligerio Acala. The world's most expensive taco begins with Kobe beef and lamb. Look how that beef is indigenous to Norway. Uh, that Almost lobster. Beluga, caviar, Look and how soft all of this is. Are Look at that. Mix, along with a salsa you know made with exotic food. Morita Dead. chili peppers. The taco is served uh, in yeah, a... Yeah, 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 yeah. That bro, is a mess. You what true... Hey, you're That's... ruining my no, boner right no, now, bro. No, 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 Fancy food. Bro. I'm... No, 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 bro. Simon, you just made me soft. Eat... I'd rather eat McDonald's chicken nuggets. Bro, it's a fucking Wagyu taco with lobster. What are you talking about? It's going to taste significantly better than a McDonald's nugget. Than a fucking nugget. You are eating that for a flex. You know what? You know what? I'll, what I'll say is exponentially, like the amount of money you put into food, like it stops getting better, like it falls off. Yes, but, yeah, it does. But, yeah. but it's still worth it. Like it's still worth it to a point. Yeah, to a point. This is but, well over that point. Yeah, I, I'll agree with that, but it's still going to taste really nice. One taco should not be 25 bags. I will back you on that. But 
It's still a fucking lobster Kobe beef taco, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay. I'll pay good peas for him, but not twenty five bucks. Ethan, I'll do, like like do your deal. Ethan, I'll do your deal. Five thousand dollars. As long as you've got that kind of money laying around, you might as well order drinks too. <laughs> a handcrafted white gold and platinum bottle of Lay Nine Twenty Five Passion Azteca Ultra Premium Añejo oh. Tequila can be served on the side for only an additional one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh wait, 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 wait. How much was that? It just said for an extra one hundred. Tequila can be served on the side for only. An additional one hundred fifty thousand dollars. Only an only. additional. Right, Vic, Vic, do it, bro. I right, bet you see that. You said flex. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying one hundred and seventy-five bags for one taco and a shot. <laughs> oh. Have you, ever had, have you ever had Speaking it? Speaking of Alma's caviar, if you uh, end up yes. enjoying it on your it's incredibly good. pricey taco, you may uh, want to hunt some down for yourself. It won't there. be easy. It's made from the pure <laughs> white eggs like of an endangered it. fish. The no, it's not that I don't sturgeon, like it. It's which just is only I don't found really in the care. Caspian Sea. Also, the fish that the eggs are harvested from must be at least 100 years old. As you might oh. expect, this makes Alma's caviar one of the rarest foods in the entire world. Even your average run of the mill caviar is practically synonymous with a luxury lifestyle. Fish it out and go, you are a fella? How old are you? How long you been in this fucking like poor you bored you bored now well guess what i'm taking your kids nope this <laughs> caviar is so scarce that even those who have the means uh, to sample this, it nah, find this it hard is not. to come by no, the white no, gold no, holds no, a place in the mad, book it? of it world records is, is the most expensive caviar how is that the most expensive food ever thirty-two thousand dollars for just a They're kilogram of the stuff of, of course chef alcala over at the grand villas resort seems to have a pretty good source so if you have thirty-two thousand dollars lying around and just have to know what the fuss is all about maybe he'll hook you up yeah caviar's mad Oh, here we go. This one's going to get me excited. 35. The Lindith Howe Country House is a four-star hotel in Windermere, Cumbria, UK. Okay. It's Mate, Northwest West got some expensive food. We should take a trip. It's food. And apparently reason that the very, very rich ones would need a very, very Bro, expensive pudding so to satisfy <laughs> <laughs> their taste. <laughs> he has a wham head, you know. He's doing thumbnail faces to satisfy their taste. Look how big his head is. To satisfy their taste. With this in mind, he created the fanciest pudding on the planet, made from four varieties of Belgian chocolate, which are considered the best anywhere. Infused through this special blend are essence of peach, orange, and whiskey, along with edible okay. gold leaf and champagne-soaked caviar. The concoction is served in an edible Fabergé egg. And then just to <laughs> up the fancy question as much as humanly possible, oh. it's topped with an actual diamond. Just keep in mind oh. that if you're planning the diamond to visit to Lindith Howe and want to sample the world's most expensive we'll get to keep pudding the diamond, for yourself, though. you'll have to order it at least two weeks in advance. Oh, Ooh. do you get to... No, but do you get to keep the diamond? I want a diamond! I don't think so. Well, then it's not worth it. The white alba truffle, found only in the Langhe and Montferrat areas of northern Italy, is one of the priciest foods on Earth. They're extremely hard yeah. to cultivate and highly sought after. But from October right. to November each year, you can visit the region's truffle fair, which attracts buyers from all four corners of the Imagine globe. Imagine he just yams regular it. Truffles <laughs> He's like, give me a smell of that. Dollars per nom, nom, nom. The white alba, <laughs> recognizable you. by its cream-colored flesh and distinctive marbling, is only for those with its certain amounts like of money diseases. to burn. They oh, no. generally go from $3,000 to about $23,000 per <sighs> pound, and some larger specimens have Sold at auction. Wait, can I go back? Can we look at the source? I'm from the Mystery Mending Channel. A Hong Kong real estate investor shelled out $160,000 oh for a truffle weighing about 3.3 million dollars. How bored have you got to be to go across, of them across the world to spend 160 racks on a mushroom? Bro, you spent 160 on fungus, bro. This isn't He's food anymore. So this is <laughs> The world's this is most food. expensive food is sauce, actually right. a beverage, and there's only so much of it that exists in the world. It's a 1907 Heitziek, far from the world's oldest Fine champagne, nine. but it Flat certainly Bitcoin. has a more interesting story than any vino any of us have ever tasted. <laughs> in 1916, the Swedish freighter Junkelping, which counted several cases of the wine in question among its cargo, was sunk right. by a German U-boat, and it oh. remained at the bottom of the ocean for 80 years. Fortunately, Not these like conditions this. were ideal for champagne storage. The pressure on oh the ocean God. floor was roughly the same as the That's inside of mad. the bottle, and of course the That's precious cool. cargo was shielded from Life. The ship was raised in 1997, and about 2,000 bottles that were recovered. Cool, although oh, not all of those that's were in very cool. Condition. You can buy the current vintage of the same champagne online for around $120 per bottle. See, but that's if you want to try the shipwreck version, which sources say is absolutely mind blowing. Bottles are currently going nah, at auction for an incredible $200,000. If you're buying waffling. it because of the history behind it, yeah, get yeah, it. yeah. But if you're buying it to just drink it because you, it's nice, you've yeah, they're waffling, bro. They've waffled, they've waffled. They're saying it's amazing because it comes from the bottom of the sea or whatever. No, no it still tastes like piss, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Still rather a Fanta. All right, one, one out of the, one of those, you get to eat one for free right now or drink. What, what are you taking? 25K oh. dessert, Sunday, ice cream ting. Yeah, I think it's got yeah, to be the New York Sunday. Big gold yeah. bowl. Let us know in the comments, what would, what would be your go-to? What are you eating? Let, Let us know. know.
Peace. See you all next time. Peace.